Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so we've got the Tech Beerus Super Easy Aid here and we are going to go ahead and try him out on the Tech Broly Movie Bosses team. Uh, he gets a couple of 200% leaders, the two uh, Broly's from the Worldwide Celebration and Lord Slug are like the newest, sort of most meta relevant characters that he gets the lead from. Um, obviously I know a lot of people didn't summon for Slug. Um, but we're going to try him out. He's obviously full level 10 links. Uh, he's got some okay skill orbs. Uh, basically, after his super easy A, he doesn't really need crit. And I think I had mine built for pretty much full crit. So I had to change. I did have a couple of spare copies to fix some of the actual hidden potential nodes. And then I just kind of gave him some orbs to uh, give him some extra dodge and additional. So if we take a look at him, obviously super easy A, the leader skill and the super attack effect don't change. So his leader skill is not exactly anything special. And the super attack is just immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. But the passive is where the uh, stuff actually comes into play, right, with a super easy A. So uh, attack, key three, attack and defense 160%. Additional attack and defense 160% and a high chance to crit when performing a super attack. So 160 on super is pretty good. Additional defense 160 and gets guard when there's a movie boss, realm of gods, or exploding rage ally attacking in the same turn. So I mean, that's how you do a like category restriction for a passive, right? It's one ally of three different categories and they are basically all of the categories that the units that you would run him with are on. So it's... He basically gets it for free. Like, there's almost no... I can't imagine any team, apart from just throwing him on a random team just because, I can't imagine any setup where you would run this guy, like, on a good team for him, where he's not going to be getting this condition. So, extra defense and guard, which is obviously very good. He gets an extra 40% attack and defense with each attack received, up to 160, so he needs to get hit four times. And then he has 30% damage reduction if you're at 30% or more HP. Another 30% if you're at 60% or more. Then he has a great chance to do an additional super if you're at 60% or less. And then he gets super, uh, he gives super class allies 2 key and 30% attack. And extreme class allies 2 key and 30% defense. And then he does have the rage mode as well. Um, when his rage mode is... HP is 60% or less up to two times obviously can be very good so hopefully we can get that in the run and see exactly what he's looking like on that turn but let's go ahead and i'm just going to go for you straight away we're going to get hit a couple of times so we're going to get two 40 percent buffs because uh, three 40 percent buffs he's going to get hit four three times so then his stats are going to go up a couple of times and then when he attacks he gets 160 percent extra now, bear in mind, his start of turn defense isn't particularly high, but he does get the, um, he does get 60% damage reduction. So hopefully that's going to come in clutch here. But, because yeah, obviously we'll tank normals for double digits. So we get two 40% buffs, then for Dale supers, but we dodge, nice. And then we got 11.4 for the first attack here. Bear in mind, we only have Fierce Battle active. That's the only downside of running him on the movie bosses team. We need to get him partnered up with the AGL Broly because they share, uh, I think it's three links, which isn't great, but on the movie bosses team without, obviously any other Beerus is going to have the same name. Beerus and Whis, I can't remember, if, are they actually on movie bosses? But they're even with their EZA now, their EZA is old, they're pretty outdated. I said this when we talked about his details when they came out, although of course it wouldn't matter for a, um, it wouldn't matter for other teams that are not like movie bosses, but, uh, well, it, we need a new, we need a new Whis, but the problem is on like a movie bosses team, we can't run Whis, so... All right, so I want to float you off. I want to get the domain active for Broly because the domain buffs planetary destruction. Oh, no, wait, it doesn't, does it? It buffs... Uh... Uncontrollable power. Where is it planetary destruction? 
yeah, it's only uncontrollable power. It's kind of a shame that he uh, doesn't have it, but there's such a weird rotation as well. It's all Broly's. Mm -hmm. Do that. Do that. Yeah, in Broly was the only one of the four worldwide characters that I didn't get, which is super disappointing because he, he's really good and his team's really fun as well. Like, you can run the Tech Broly lead and then Imp Broly friend, but obviously with the Tech Broly leader skill, you can only run movie bosses. Whereas Imp Broly has the multiple categories and you can have a bit more variety. But, you know, it is what it is. Super easy A Broly, we will eventually get him to be floating so he can provide some support as well. But, Yeah, super easy A STR probably is very good. And then, yeah, obviously AGL Broly in slot 3 has uh, a lot of attack potential. Gets an extra attack in slot 3 already anyway. So... I don't think the Roshi OST is really fitting for this, is it? So yeah, Broly just going to get off multiple attacks here. Okay, so we've got support from Tolez on this turn as well. Yeah, see now, after getting those four attacks, so his passive is fully built up because he got hit enough times. That's 745k with 60% damage reduction. It's pretty good. Doesn't make him like an unkillable slot one tank, but that is pretty good. Because um, bear in mind as well, like, he gets 160% on super. <laughs> so, if we take, what, 782, 623, plus 160%. He goes up to 2 million after supering. 2 million with 60% damage reduction. That's pretty good. I'll do that. We have a support from the Tolez army. Obviously nice on this turn. that. Broly obviously does the AoE, so he's going to damage both of them, but between Broly and Beerus, hopefully we can kill both of them here. So what's Beerus up to now? Let's bear in mind he's got the extra buffs to his attack as well as his defense. 16.6. We don't get the crit though, sadly. I think that seems like, from what we've seen so far, that's the only, like... The only thing I would say is like the only downside, right? Because he gets an additional attack built in if you're on lower health. Um, but other than that, like he doesn't have any built in additionals or anything. So he's got like a nice attack stat, really good defense. Um, but like, don't get an additional. Then that's all he does for the turn, right? That 116 mil super. Which I can't complain. Like I say, if like post super attack, if he's at 2 million defense with 60% damage reduction, then he's basically like almost invincible. Like, he would tank a 4 million super attack for double-digit damage with those kind of stats, so that's fine. But... Alright, so we'll float um, the STR Broly so we can get some... Uh, get some, some extra support for Beerus on one of the other turns. 
43 million for Tech Morley. Okay. So, I mean, Tech Beerus is basically just big old numbers, which is, you know, very good. So now we've got Prodigy's Fierce Battle Shock and Speed. We've got 700k defense. And 60% damage reduction. I do need to take... I want to take some damage so I can get the Rage Mode, but... Maybe if I don't use your active skill so you don't get the extra defense. Of course, dodge the normal, eat the super, yeah. Double digit damage. <laughs> Yeah, so I gave mine additional and dodge, right? Because ideally, with the, we want, with the kind of numbers that he's showing, we want him to be doing an additional super, really. But yeah, I feel like you could, because obviously we're showcasing him, so we're keeping him on rotation. But like, on this team for Broly, for movie bosses especially, where he's not going to have like crazy links up and stuff like that, like, you could absolutely just throw him on this team and use him as a third slot floating unit. Because if he's... Rocking 2 million defense after supering. He's not going to be dying in slot 3. And he's doing a little bit of extra damage. He is providing that bit of support as well. And he supports super or extreme allies. And on this team, like, you know, we've got so many damage dealing powerhouse units with all these Broly's. That they don't necessarily need more attack. So for extreme allies, Beerus is giving them extra defense. Which is really useful as well. So... With the numbers that he does individually, like, you could literally just be using him as a floating support unit on this team, and he'll be fine. Uh, this is not a great turn for defense, though. I'm just going to have to, like, go ahead and get the Broly Revival. I was going to say, yeah, potentially well, that is what's going to happen, but then he just dodged. I was very disappointed I didn't get in Broly during the worldwide celebration. I got really unlucky with my part two summons, and so I got to the P and used the coins to get Gohan. But I didn't actually pull either of the part two units. The problem, I think, for the, the problem with this team, especially in this event, is that the team is too good. So, I'm losing HP so that we can actually get the um, rage mode is going to be a bit more difficult. I won't transform Broly just yet. That way you can keep getting some stacks. But yeah, the rainbow orbs from STR Broly is going to provide some support. But yeah, that's the, oh, that's the other thing, by the way. It's not just 2 million defense with 60% damage reduction. It's 2 million defense with 60% damage reduction and guard. So, after supering, I'm pretty sure, like, with his passive fully built up, after supering, he lives, like, every super attack in the game from, like, these tough bosses, apart from, obviously, like, there's the, there's those couple of, like, Peppy Gals character bosses that do the 900, like, the full 99 damage. Um, also, I think, was it, like, Freezer's, like, movie boss 2, Red Zone, Freezer, has that countdown super that does, like, 8 million. But in terms of, like, normal boss super attacks, but it's, like, even, like, Goku and Freezer, Beast Gohan, Blue Gogeta, Blue Evolution Vegeta, like, all these kind of guys. Um, Beerus should be tanking all of their super attacks, like, post-super, if you're on 60% or more HP at the start of the turn, so he has the full damage reduction. 
and have the ally so that he has his guard, obviously. Um, which is kind of crazy. Also, this turn's going to be kind of crazy. Just, just, just three legendary Super Saiyan Broly's on one rotation. Hey, and we finally lost some health. I don't know if it's enough, though. It probably isn't, because this team does have a decent amount of HP. This isn't the Heroes team. Yeah, no, it's nowhere near enough. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that in that last phase, like, if you get the STR bomb, where she pretty much always supers in slot one. Because what does her super do? Like, is it like, is it 8 million? I can't remember if it's that high. But, it's 6 mil. But yeah, he would potentially live that as well. Because with 60% damage reduction, the 6 mil becomes under 3 mil. Then he has 2 million defense and guard. So he's not taking like, the full million because guard cuts a lot of that off as well yes yeah, he's 782 with the support from the Turles army it's pretty good oh, we're gonna get the dogon attack here now aren't we I was really hoping not to like heal at all Okay, we didn't get it, but I mean, we'll get it next turn, which then means even if we did drop to 60% or less HP, we would then get the Dokon attack next turn and heal anyway. Well, we did an additional normal. <laughs> I probably should have transformed Broly to make sure that he killed them here because there is the possibility that they super attack him and he dies. Well, I mean, he has guard and his defense is quite high at this point. See, now we've taken some damage, but like I said, unfortunately, the next turn, we're going to get the um, Dokon attack, so we're then going to get a full heal. <laughs> Unless there's anyone, I don't have anyone on the team that can, I don't have like an uh, attack active skill or anything, do I? Is there anything I can do here? This, I guess. <laughs> Hope that, like, this is enough. I don't want to get any support. Oh, no, I can't not get a rainbow orb, though. No, because then Brony gives support, which I don't want. But there's too many rainbow orbs. foiled god damn it all I had to do was not get a rainbow orb and it would have been fine well yeah 10 million damage I'm not sure what the percentage heal you get is from the Dokon attack, but yeah, you get a full heal, so. So yeah, that's the only, uh, the only real downside is that on this team it's too difficult to get the, <laughs> too difficult to get the rage mode.
It is weird that he counts as super class as well. And Brody's not really a slot one unit, so if we do this, maybe he can take some damage here. Not going to use Tech Brody's active skill because, of course, that'll make him do even more crazy damage. Of course, he just dodges. So I'll put him in slot one. Maybe he'll take a little bit of damage here, but. So now Aegeo is probably just going to go crazy. Yeah, Battle of God's Beerus being super class is dumb. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> He's the antagonist of the movie that is, like, going to destroy the planet. Basically goes on a rampage, like, at the party. Like, takes out everybody. And the thing is, I guess you could... I don't think they've have they ever specifically say, but, like, you could try and make the argument that, like, from very early on... As soon as he, like, saw his potential or whatever, he was just testing Goku and always planned to, like, not really destroy the Earth, right? But even so, like, him being super class is very weird. But yeah, this team too good. Too good for us to lose enough HP to actually get the rage. You can rage mode twice, <laughs> and we couldn't. We didn't get a single one. And with all the damage that this team does, we're not going to get another Beerus turn because, with all the damage that we've done in one turn, there's no way Gohan survives another turn. But yeah, I mean, Beerus is really good. It's literally it's the suffering from success meme. I mean, the rage mode will be super useful if you do get it, especially against some of these tougher bosses. Because it cancels out the, um, cancels out, like, uh, super attacks and stuff like that, but. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Beerus is super good. Going to try them out on some other teams, some other events. Slug team will certainly be interesting. Because um, he gets the 200%. The only annoying thing is that with him being super class, like that new Demigra from the Heroes batch is really good for the slug team. But he needs a full extreme rotation. Typical that we didn't have a little bit more. If we could get one more turn here as well. Because obviously now that we've just eaten that super, we've dropped below the HP threshold again. But... We're definitely not getting another turn here. With Tech Broly doing a 39 million attack stat. But yeah, Tech Beer is super easy A. Seems very, very good. He's going to be super good on like all the teams that he's on. Because he doesn't really need a lot of links to be really good as well. So you can throw him on teams as a third slot floating unit. As long as he's got the ally. Was it Movie Boss, Realm of Gods or Exploding Rage? He has the guard. So yeah, he's really, really good. Um, I would say that he is... Probably, hands down, now the best Super Easy A unit. Um, I think it was probably STR Broly before Beerus came out, but... I mean, Beerus is not giving as much support, but it's definitely better defensively. Um, so yeah, Tech Super Easy A Beerus, very, very good. Um, Going to be useful on like all of these teams that he's on. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Beerus down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Again. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.